Are you prepared for radical changes to the price of gold, to the price of silver? Are you prepared for radical changes in the world? Changes like we've not seen for over 100 years. You might be asking yourself, what are these big changes that everybody's talking about? Well, I have just a several that we need to touch on today, but they are clear indications that the world is changing on a geopolitical level, but also in the way that it views money and the precious metals. We're going to talk about Kenya. We're going to talk about Zimbabwe. We're going to talk about the BRICS nations. And we're even going to touch on, and I'll emphasize this, a conspiracy theory. Let's get started right now. How do you deal with change? For a lot of us, right, and I'm 53 years old, the older I get, the less I like change. Now look, we try to keep our mind open and realize that oftentimes change is good. Uh, just a few months ago, we switched our home TV service from AT&T U-verse to YouTube TV. It was a difficult transition. We're still adjusting to it. Susie was not very happy with me. It used to be, guys, that I could ring this bell and she would run coffee down to me, but that's not the case anymore. Let's talk about the big changes going on in the world. The president of Kenya just last week made a public announcement to his citizens to get out of the U.S. dollar. I'm going to play a little clip of what he said. It's short, only 15 seconds, but you need to listen to this. For the people who work numbers, I am giving you free advice that those of you who are holding dollars, you surely might go into losses. You better, you better uh, do what you must do because uh, this market is going to be different in a couple of weeks. Did you hear what he said? Three things. Get out of dollars because they are going to become worth less. And something big, he alludes to, is going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Now, we already know that Kenya has an agreement, a new agreement, with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to buy oil in the native Kenyan currency, which is called the shilling. Guys, everywhere we look, people are kind of moving away from the dollar, and that could send major shockwaves through the world economy, through the precious metals markets. I'll never tell you what to do, but I will tell you that I really appreciate you joining me here in the basement right now from wherever you are in the world. You're special, you're unique, your mommy loves you. I can even say I love you. What the heck? You know, you chose to give me some of your time from wherever in the world you are right now. I appreciate it. You're important. You're special. Now let's get back to the video. Next, we're going to talk about Zimbabwe. But before we do that, in relation to what's going on in Kenya, there's a rumor. And I will emphasize rumor, conspiracy theory, whatever you want to call it, that there may be some kind of coordinated attack possibly on the U.S. dollar within the next couple of weeks by this growing number of nations that is explicitly saying they want to move away from the dollar. Let's hope for the sake of us that live in the West that that's not the case. But again, and I'll emphasize, there is this rumor going around. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada. Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec, each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. And with all the strife and conflict going on in the world, Hey, look, we've not had geopolitical issues like this in the last 80, 100 years in the world. Nothing is out of the question. We have conventional warfare, but we also have financial warfare. So let's hope that our leaders are prepared. 
And what's even more frightening is the fact that in the last three or four days, both Fox Business and CNN ran stories about de-dollarization. That's the process going on right now throughout the world where countries are moving away from the dollar. If the big mainstream media outlets are talking about this, then you know it's becoming real, and it's becoming real scary as well. Because now more and more countries in Africa are taking steps to move away from the dollar. We also had Zimbabwe, which late last year issued gold coins, gold coins, in an effort to control inflation and to stop the erosion of value in their native currency. And that has worked pretty darn well for the country of Zimbabwe. The IMF went over there in December and had the gall to tell them, you need to stop issuing these gold coins. You need to use debt instruments. And they recommended a bunch of uh, kind of unicorn fart dust type ways that they could control inflation. And you know what the leaders in Zimbabwe said? They said, hey guys, buzz off. Or maybe the leaders of Zimbabwe told the IMF to scram. Remember that word scram? A lot of you are my age. My 94-year-old grandpa, who I was very close to, especially in his later years, very smart guy, would spend a lot of hours with him. The last time I visited him, he was not doing well. It's actually, finally, the last few weeks of his life were spent in a nursing home. He'd broken his leg. Anyway, I was there for a little bit, and I'll never forget, he told me, you better scram. Everybody's moving to silver and gold even the BRICS countries, all the news we get over the last few weeks, right? President Xi of China went to Russia. They had a love fest in Russia. Putin and Xi signed all these agreements. They're going to be trading in Chinese yuan. They're going to encourage the BRICS countries to use the yuan. Oh, and by the way, in case you missed it, in case you missed it, both China and Russia have been increasing their central bank holdings of, yeah, you guessed it, gold. But we don't have to worry about these BRICS countries now, do we? Well, maybe we do, because I just saw recent data, maybe you saw this too, that indicates that the BRICS countries, their economies measured as a percentage of world GDP is now larger than the G7. And what makes it even more interesting is their economies are growing at a faster rate than ours. And on top of that, more and more countries are looking to join the BRICS. And again, they love their gold and silver. Don't forget Vladimir Putin has talked about starting the MWS, the Moscow World Standard which will be a new central market, a new clearinghouse to directly compete with the LBMA in London, England, and the COMEX here in the United States, where they trade all the paper, silver, and gold. Putin has made it very clear that he's fed up with the price manipulations, and they're going to have their own central market for silver and gold to develop a new spot price. And a spot price that could likely more reflect the true supply, demand, fundamentals that we know are present within the precious metals markets. There's so much going on, guys. We need to stay on top of it. It can be scary, but it's better to face it all, right? Accept what's going on, right? Don't, don't put our heads in the sand, but keep our eyes open and make the best moves we can. I'll be here for you through it all. I'll see you next time.